Number 75, fireworks display. Suppose the two people standing two miles apart both see the burst from a fireworks display. After a period of time, the first person standing at point A hears the burst. One second later, the person standing at point B hears the burst. If the person at point B is due west of the person at point A, and if the display is known to occur due north of the person at point A, where did the fireworks display occur? Alright, so two people standing two miles apart. So here's person, wait, let's, so person B is due west of person A. So here's person at point B, person at point A. So that we have our north, south, east, west. So that person B is west of person A. And the display is known to occur directly north of person A. So there's the fireworks right there. Okay. So this is two miles from each other. One second later. Here's... Okay, after a period of time, the first person hears the burst. Second later, the second person hears the burst. So this time, it, so this person hears it at some time, and this person hears it at that time plus one second, correct? Okay. Let's look and see there's an example to help us with this. Looks like I've got something about lightning strikes that's very similar, an example in the book. So these people are located at the focus of the sound. Apparently sound is related by a hyperbola for some reason. And sound travels at 1100 feet per second. So the person at point A is 1100 feet closer to the lightning strike than the person at point B. Also, what do we know about a mile? Because how many miles apart are they? How many feet would that be? Two miles would be two times 5280. So how many feet is that? It's about 1,100, right? Okay, so the difference between the focal points. So in the book, they show a picture. This one has to do with the sound of a lightning strike, but it's very similar. So they say that we have a hyperbola here. Oh, I didn't draw my hyperbola very well because the fireworks should be right on the hyperbola. Oops. Um, <laughs> there. We'll call that good. Okay. So these are the focal points of the hyperbola. And then this is a point x, y on the graph of the hyperbola. And... So the equation of a hyperbola is x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. Because the distance between the two people is 2 miles, and each person is at the focus of a hyperbola, oh, and because sound travels at 1,100 feet per second, that means that 2a equals 1,100. So A is 550. I'm just going through this example. Okay. Um, and then C is where the foci are located. So C, 2C would be 2 times 5280. So what would C be? 5280, correct? All right, so then we just need to find point B. So remember how C is related 
by a squared minus b squared. Well, in this case, we want to find b. So it's kind of the same formula. It's just the a and the b trade places, because it's just like Pythagorean theorem, and a, b, and c are the legs, and a is the hypotenuse. So we do a squared, but that doesn't work, because we're not doing ellipses anymore, and I'm getting confused. So it's actually a squared plus b squared equals c squared instead. So b is actually c squared minus a squared. Oops, sorry about that. But it just occurred to me it wasn't going to work anyway because the numbers are so different. So b, here let me give myself more space here. b is going to be equal to the square root of 5280 squared minus 550 squared. All right, calc. Okay, so I get the square root of 2757.5900, which is 5251.276. So that's the distance to point B. So I guess this number, though, here in our equation would be this number here, right? Because this is B squared. Okay, so in our equation, we would have x squared over 1,100. No, that's not a, a squared. What's 550 squared? 32500. 0, 0. And then we would have y squared over 2757590 0, 0, equals 1. Okay. Well, if this point right here is at x, y, let me just figure out one of those two values. Right. Okay. So this point is at x, y, and this point is at x, 0. So what's the x value if point A, if distance C is a length of 5280 miles? Where is this point located? What's the x value? Not miles, but feet. It's 5280, right? So the x value equals 5280. We want to find the y value, and that will tell us how far away the fireworks are from person at point A. So we plug that in. 5280 squared divided by 32500 minus y squared over 2757590 equals 1. So to solve for y, we're going to take this thing and subtract it from the 1 over here. And then cross multiply probably, right? So we'll have a negative y squared equals over 2757500 um, equals 1 minus 5280 squared over 550 squared. That's easier to write. That's why I did it that way. So this thing will equal 5280 squared divided by 550 squared is 92.16, so we go 1 minus 92.16, and we get negative 91.16, and that's negative y squared over, what was this number? Oh, that was one we calculated. Okay, so over 2757590. Okay, now I'm going to cross multiply this with this. Get rid of the negatives, because if there's a negative on both sides, we don't need it. So y squared will equal 27575900 times 91.16. So that gives us 25138190044, and we square root that number. And we get y equals 5138, and that's feet. So then if we want to take that and divide it by 5280, 
that would be 9.5 miles. I just learned something today. <laughs>